definitely no one person. Look at look agrees look at look at that render. Look at that. Uh, I'm looking at Wario actually. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so He's Zelda so versus lost. Wario. Matchup thoughts. Uh, Wario's like he Wario's like to like dance around your shields, especially with the nares and fairs and bears. I like that because if it if it if it lands, that's a lot. If it doesn't, you can always cross up. Uh, but Zelda is one of the one of those characters in the game where you can't actually touch her shield for free because she will jump cancel or not jump cancel, just jump out of shield and fair or bear, and that's like 20%. Plus and neutral B is another option. Yes, that's another one if she doesn't know the situation entirely. It's just like that the, the good mash button F smash coming out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. Zeroed in on a spontaneous player for sure. That being oh, said, and there's that <laughs> so that being said, there could be a um. Because Wario has amazing air Ooh. speed. Oh, what a beautiful trap. Said to get out of this situation, you need a neutral get up now. And just let it go. That was sick. Uh, oh. Technically, he can drop down the ledge and bike to the other side, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, but at the, it's so early in the match. Because you don't want to show all your cards just yet. I don't, I don't think he even plans to do that. Okay, went for a hard read on that roll in. Yeah, a hard a, a hard read, but safe at the same time. Yeah, but the Maybe. thing is, it only covered the one option. Yeah, on yeah. the other hand, like in that situation, Stu keeps Zelda in the corner, and Zelda hates being in the corner. Oh, for sure. Like she needs space to that retreat was or just. <laughs> <ridiculous>. <laughs> Uh, That's something I've been seeing a lot from uh, Hobbit and Zelda players, is they're going to land with Nehru's love a lot more. Uh, Ooh, by the way, I've been heard from Zelda mains not to shield the down beat. That is like what Zelda's love, is you shielding the Phantom. Yeah. Because it That's sets why up it's interesting. grab, it, it's locked in place. Oh, and the bear going to take it through the Nehru's love. But still a stock lead on um, Zerda Nun's part. Um, about blocking... Uh, the Phantom Shadow Knight? I don't know what it's called, actually. Uh, the Down Special. The Phantom. Uh, yeah, you... Ooh, not okay. dead. Actually, the fact he didn't die from that made that loft really... Weird. Yeah, you... Can, can Wario still die from that, by the way? Dive, like, off the top of the screen. I... He goes too high and just... I am unsure, but I don't think he was anywhere close to that happening. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say that it's interesting that uh, Commander Toots a lot would actually agree to go to Smashville, knowing that there isn't a lot of space to avoid that Phantom. Yeah, I mean, up okay, smash this again guy. catching him. I, I think, think that Tommy caught jump. Yes. Yeah, up that's jump. that's the thing is that Zelda <laughs> is so good at ledge trapping. For the real. fact that she has this this thing on delay, basically. Yes. The fact that that's she charges gonna up Phantom, and the opponent is really the timing for whatever option they're gonna pick just becomes zip. Yep. Uh. And rolling is the one option that you don't want to do, just because it's rolling. It's like the most obvious scrub decision. Uh, even though, even even if it's like the better option, I was like right there. It was the better option to roll. Um, and zero to none, recognizing that his opponent didn't want to roll, and I already punished your neutral get up. You're not gonna attack. I'm just gonna go for the lingering up smash, and you're gonna jump away because you feel like that's your only option. So, uh, have we seen? Commander Toots a lot. Has he been like in buffering his ledge options like immediately? Uh, it I don't feels think... like he's hanging out on ledge a little bit. And I, I don't know. I feel that against Zelda. I'm, obviously, you don't want to just you okay. You don't want to jump into the dense fire. You know, you know what it is? Sure I don't think fun. a lot of people recognize that it kills really okay. early. Yeah, no, dense fire. Is, they made that move dummy strong. I know. I know. I'm one. I'm one to like jump into it and not you know worry about it because it's Din's fire. It's like not a big deal. I'll just I'll just be hit and uh, hit stun and I'll come back to stage eventually. But no, it kills. It will kill you, especially if you have a blast zone right behind you. Good answer to. Oh, that was such uh, a smart bike. wind. <gasps> you you know he wanted to down air. Hey, oh, and he and follows the, the DR. Way. Wow. I was waiting for a Furore's wind, and he, we didn't really see it last game, but maybe the platforms have given uh, more wild. setups for it for Zero to None. Yeah, probably. But yeah, no, we're seeing a ton of it now. I love that. That was move. a great snipe. I love Furore's wind so much. There's actually like a ton of flexibility to it. It's so powerful. And the way it works so perfectly with spot dodge canceling, ridiculous. Ooh. Interesting way to get back onto stage, but he's going to get slapped regardless. Uh, I, I mean, you could tell by the way Zero's playing oh. that he's going for the three stock, and that's going to be it. Full hop, 1.85 multiplier on that bear, and he's at it. What was that? He was at like 
Probably. I, he could have been that? at 50. He would have died. Oh, yeah, he was at 70. Extremely. Wait, wait, that wait, move is just so strong. flawless. Yeah, that's definitely a VOD he's going to go back to. <laughs> yeah. Both what of them did probably the are going to uh... say about that perfectly spaced bear.